Meanwhile, Japan's Kyoto News Agency says the highly concentrated plutonium could be used to make up to 50 nuclear bombs. But as Xu Geng reports, it only makes up a small portion of Japan's total nuclear stockpile. Nearly three years after the Fukushima meltdown, the production of electricity using nuclear power remains a highly contentious issue in Japan. The power generation is only part of the story. The Japan Times reports as of 2012, Japan has a stockpile of more than 45 tons of plutonium. Other media reports have quoted U.S. experts saying that Japan could have the world's largest stockpile of nuclear materials. Japan is a store of highly concentrated plutonium. It could be used to make thousands of nuclear bombs. According to the Kyodo News Agency, the U.S. government has been pressing Japan since 2010 to return more than 300 kilograms of plutonium it lent to Japan in the 1960s. At first, Japan resisted, saying it needed the plutonium for research purposes. Now, the two sides have come to an agreement on the return of the nuclear materials and are expected to sign an accord next month. Japan has had the ability to develop nuclear weapons since the 1960s. When the United States discovered Japan was developing nuclear weapons, Japan was required to destroy all its nuclear facilities and labs and return the nuclear materials to the U.S. Japan has been a signatory to the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons since 1970. And before that, it held to the principle of three nuclear no's, namely no possession, no production and no importing of nuclear weapons. Despite the long-held high-minded policies, some right-wing politicians in Japan are starting to come out the closet. Ishihara Shintaro, former governor of Tokyo, has several times said that Japan should have its own nuclear weapons program. Shugong, CCTV.